the way of Vigyan Bhairav Tantra. This is a unique communion. It uses the language of love as against the language of logic which is aggressive and in that way each tries to convince the other the other feels to argue that whatsoever is said does not stand logically true everyone thinks i am right and you are wrong so i must prove that i am right and you are wrong i am not concerned with you instead i am concerned with my ego my ego individual ego is always right devi is not just the concert she is shiva's other half and unless disciple becomes the other half of the master it is impossible to convey higher teachings the esoteric methods and transformation is not possible you would notice the trust that you develop in the master and you consider him as your better half the communion that happens the silence that prevails brings about transformation in you and when you are one with the master so totally one deeply one there is no argument no logic no reason no need to convince or argue only then the teaching begins to grow in you you are drinking the master you are drinking his presence you are dissolving in his presence and the teachings the esoteric methods grow in you just as a fetus grows in a mother's womb the language of love is totally different it says i am not concerned with my ego to me you are important you are the center i am not concerned to prove something to strengthen my ego you are ready to prove argue only to strengthen yourself but the disciple listens absorbs drinks the master absorbs dissolves in his presence it is compassion to help you to grow to help you to transform to help you to be reborn the disciple is reborn logic is always intellectual concept argument is significant with the language of love what is said is not so important rather the way it is said the way it flows into you the way you absorb it the way you drink it the content the message the words are not important the content the message is more important it is heart to heart communion as sufi say it is ilmesina there is no argument because mind is not involved in it it is not a debate instead it is a commune it is strange 
Devi is sitting on the lap of Shiva and asking. Shiva responds, My own realization is nothing has happened between Shiva and Devi except the silence overflowed and in that silence nothing was asked but everything was answered and as a vision it was written the entire treaties came into existence it is a love dialogue no conflict shiva is speak as if shiva is speaking to himself because between devi and shiva there is no difference two forms one energy and why this emphasis is on, on love love language because if you are in love with the master then the whole gestalt changes it becomes different then you are not hearing the words instead you are drinking him then words are irrelevant the silence between the master and the disciple becomes more significant what he is saying may be meaningful or may not be but his eyes communicate his gestures his compassion his love brings a new transformation that is why tantra has a fixed device a structure every treaties starts with devi asking and shiva responding just as each buddhist scripture begins thus i have heard it is not said anand is not saying that buddha said so he said this is thus i have heard maybe my hearing may be defective maybe something i did not hear correctly so he says thus i have heard if you encounter shiva with a question with a closed eyes and it happened shiva was explaining the science of life to selected people just as i am speaking certain things to certain seekers because there is a greater potentiality in him they have been chosen for the work to be carried on so they have to be trained developed and allowed to grow in a different manner first if you encounter shiva with a question with a closed mind he will not answer you in this way first your closeness has to be broken and then in that way in order to open your closeness one has to be aggressive then your prejudices your preconditionings have to be destroyed shiva is not doing anything of that nature devi is already at the level she is beyond consciousness that's why she is able to understand unless you are clearly completely unless you are cleared of your past conditionings nothing can be given to you remember when you are deeply in love your mind ceases to be there is no past 
only the present moment exists that contains everything it is dynamic when you are in love the present moment is the only time now is all no past no future so devi is just open there is no defense in her nothing to be cleared nothing to be destroyed in her the ground is already ready that is why this is the way of vigyan bhairav tantra she is welcoming receptive she is asking to be impregnated she is asking to be impregnated so all these sayings that we are going to explain or mentioned in vigyan bhairav tantra are telepathic these are just sutras but each sutra just as a principle a chemic uh, a principle of chemistry a chemical equation is a telic telepathic is says something in a very simple manner and then i had explained the word vigyan bhairav tantra vigyan means the teachings of going beyond consciousness that means you are already at the level of consciousness not unconscious devi is not unconscious she is totally conscious of asking what she is asking but we are unconscious so when she asks question what is thy reality she is not concerned with shiva's outer appearance he has a scanty clothes tiger skin wrapped around his lower extremities the ashes wrapped up in his body the hair matlocked and different insignia around a snake around his head a typical example so her his form is not that going to appeal to anyone but devi is not concerned with form instead she is concerned with what shiva is beyond the form that is why she asks what is thy reality what is this that exists beyond form and then each question she asks is relevant is very impregnated and it once you understand the nature of this your gestalt will change process of this transformation will begin then you will understand that vigyan bhairav tantra does not carry anything that will that you can see techniques without sexual interaction it has nothing to do with sex with in entire vigyan bhairav tantra only this much for this morning take care and do have a pleasant day